are demonstrating an ultrasound to demonstrate adenomyosis. Now, please understand, this is the uterus, okay? I'm going to freeze it and I'm going to show the entire thing with my marker. This entire organ which you see is the uterus. Here in the center, you'd see the endometrial lining where the baby will grow, okay? In the front is the anterior wall. You can see how thin the anterior wall is as a patient and you can see how thick the posterior wall is. Just in case I measure, you will understand the posterior wall for this patient is approximately four centimeters thick. Whereas the anterior wall is just 1.4 centimeters. So you can see the difference. This is why women experience severe pain in adenomyosis. Of course, we are going to map it. So I'm going to mark it at separate points. One angle is 3.7. The other angle is 3.5. Of course, this is an adenomyotic mapping. Simultaneously, you see this typical appearance here. This is a typical appearance which is demonstrating adenomyosis more towards the left side of the patient. If I do a microwave ablation or a surgery on this patient, she will have tremendous benefit in fertility. Also understand the adenomyosis is extending here. That means deep down in the uterus close to the cervix. These women after surgery, remember, they are going to require three months and only after three months they will be able to conceive. If I measure the size of the adenomyosis, it is 6.9, 7.3 centimeters. That means any adenomyoma more than 4 centimeters is going to require surgical management. Keep that in mind.